And Sam, I can do that for you. Lovely. Uh, well, we've got Simon here. Uh, George, should we start with you? And then uh, feel free to, to fire away as a group after that. Simon, a defeat there, obviously a close one, but happy overall with sort of how that first game went in the new format. Sorry, can you pass that one again so I can hear it? No worries, saying a close defeat, but overall happy with how that first game went. Yeah, look, I thought um, I thought we did a lot of things really well today. Uh, obviously, uh, yeah, boys are disappointed to lose, but um, I think the way we started, obviously, a lot of our younger players did a great job with all our spinners, did, did a fantastic job. Um, a lot of them are still, obviously, just starting in, the, uh, in, in their careers. Young Tom Hartley, uh, young Calvin Harrison, uh, and obviously Matt Parkins has played a little bit for England recently as well. So I thought they did a great job. So did our quicks. All our bowlers did really well. I thought we were magnificent in the field. There were some fantastic efforts in the field. Um, and I think at the halfway mark, we were pretty happy with um, where we were at in the game. So... Yeah, look, uh, disappointed to lose, but you know, there's only a couple of hits away from going our way, so that, that happens sometimes in this form of the game. But I think everyone had a fantastic night out there, great atmosphere, and uh, hopefully the crowd enjoyed it and we put on a good show for everyone. Anything else from you, George? I couldn't see the mute button there. Um, obviously, I can. can I think you're on mute, George. Try again now. Isaac, can you hear me now? Perfect. I was going to say, did you catch any of the women's game last night? Obviously, that was a really great spectacle as well. Yeah, it was. Um, a lot of our staff watched it in the hotel. We couldn't come to the ground um, due to the COVID protocols, but uh, we were watching our, in the women's team room and uh, had a good night watching them. I thought they did a lot of things right last night as well. Uh, probably deserved to win the game. It just unfortunately, a couple of catches cost them, but... Yeah, I think it's been a great start to the tournament and um, yeah, hopefully we can head up to Manchester tomorrow and uh, put on a good show for the, the Manchester people on Sunday. Lovely. Uh, Matt Roller next. Uh, hi, Simon. Uh, just wanted to ask what the diagnosis is on Lockie Ferguson. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a side strain. So uh, he got that recently playing for Yorkshire, obviously in the blast. He's had a fantastic summer for them. Um, and unfortunately, yeah, he hasn't come up for the start of the 100. But we're hoping that, you know, he's getting closer and closer. Um, it's hard to put a time frame on it just yet. But um, we're hoping that he, yeah, he might be uh, ready to play for soon. He was obviously a big loss. But I thought it showed that we've got um, some really good depth in our squad. The fact that we only had the two overseas today. And, uh, and yet our bowling lineup did a great job for us. So, um, yeah, hopefully he's fit soon. And, and uh, we'll welcome him back into the team. Uh, and obviously, it, not Joss's night tonight, but he's got one more game. I'm, I'm sure you're hoping he, he um, pulls something out of the bag in that one. Yeah, look, I, I thought he did a fantastic job as skipper. Um, he's really relished the opportunity to do that. He, he's obviously been vice-captain uh, under Owen Morgan for a long time and, uh, and and loves that role. But I think this opportunity for him has been great. And I think he showed what he was capable of today, leading our young uh, bowling attack, particularly the spinners and getting him in the game at different times. I thought he was really attacking with his captaincy. Um, and I thought we did a lot of things right today. It just didn't quite go our way. But um, look, I thought we did, um, yeah, we just didn't string a partnership together probably in our top four and that, that probably hurt us the most. But look, all our guys are quality players and um, look forward to seeing them bounce back in, um, in Manchester on Sunday. Uh, and just last one for me, have you lined up a, a replacement as captain for him when he goes? Oh, look, uh, given that he's in the test squad, um, we knew that was going to be the case. So, uh, yeah, look, we've got some, you know, I think we've got some good depth in our squad and it'll give one of our other young batsmen that didn't play tonight an opportunity when he goes. So um, we've obviously got Colin Ackerman missed tonight with a, he's got a cut in his hand from his last game at Leicester and Sam Haynes had a great season for Birmingham as well. So we've got a, you know, a couple of batsmen there that are potentially uh, ready to go um, or Colin when he's fit again. So, yeah. One of them will get an opportunity, I think, when, um, when Joss leaves. Cheers. Uh, and then Julian, please. Um, hello, Simon. Um, I'm guessing that no cause is ever truly lost whilst you've got Carlos Brathwaite out there. 
Very true. No, I thought um, we talked about taking the game deep when we lost a few wickets through the middle there just to give ourselves a chance to stay in the contest. And we know how dangerous he is at the back end of an innings. You know, the bowlers can get nervous with his hitting power. And I thought he played beautifully tonight. The wickets certainly slowed up and got harder to hit big fours and sixes towards the back end of the innings. But um, he kept us in the contest. It uh, wasn't quite to be tonight, but um, I, I just love the fighting spirit of our group. And, and he certainly personified that with the bat and, and with young Calvin Harrison, who batted beautifully on debut as well. And can I just ask one other one? Um, now that you've had a chance to actually experience it, um, the 100, have, have you managed to sort of come to any conclusions about how different this is from anything else you've played? Yeah, look, it's certainly different. I think um, the, the players spoke about the speed of the game and how quickly it went. So that's obviously what the game was designed to do. Um, but I think from first reports, I think the boys really enjoyed playing it. And it certainly added a different dynamic to the game with the five five balls uh, in the set. I won't call it an over, as you know, but um, in the five balls, it sort of can change the dynamic from a batting perspective because if the bowler starts to set well, then um, the batsman is under more and more pressure and then it, it, the set of five finishes quickly, obviously. So um, it'll be interesting to see how batsmen around the competition deal with that, particularly if they are under pressure from, uh, from bowling attacks. Thank you. No Super. Thanks all. Uh, I think we've got Fred Klassen there with Simon, so we'll switch straight into him and then do Sam Curran okay. after that. Thanks. No worries. Yeah, no worries. G'day. Hey, all, who would like to kick us off? Hi, Fred. I think I'll start. Obviously, not the result you wanted, but you know, seemed like a really good night, and obviously, three wickets for yourself. So, um, you know, decent night overall, but but just not the result. Yeah, you know, it's, it would have been nice to get the win in the first game. Uh, take a couple of wickets in the first innings. Yeah, it was nice. It was, uh, it was probably a bowler bowler friendly wicket, to be fair. Um, still uh, difficult working out what sort of what's a good run rate, or, you know, what's a good economy rate uh, with with your with your sets there. So. Um, you know, it's it all quite new and um, even just following, like following the game, sort of not like trying to compare it to T20, I suppose, was, um, was interesting sort of, you know, when, when, you, when you get into the death and, you know, calculating how many balls and sort of you usually read T20, you know, in overs. So like trying to read in the sets was um, was quite quite difficult at times, but uh, definitely fast flying game and I, and I loved it. In terms of atmosphere, did it kind of feel like a, a normal sort of T20 at the Oval or was there sort of a stark difference, did you feel? Um, I think definitely, you know, stadiums, like that, was, that was a big capacity, big capacity that we've had for a long time. So uh, it's definitely, the crowd was definitely, uh, definitely, via, definitely, you know, lively. Um, crowd, was, crowd was great, you know, new competition, game going fast. Um, mate, it was brilliant. It was brilliant to be, to be part of Any more for any more? Great. Well, uh, Fred, thanks very much for your time. Good. Beautiful. Cheers. And then I'll let Rob in now for Oval Invincibles. Thanks, man. Lovely. Thanks, Dave. Cheers, mate. Speak to you soon, Dave. And then, Rob, are you there? Yeah, hi, guys. Um, I'll go get him in one minute. Super. Thanks, mate. Sorry. 
the brightness up. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. Hey, Sam, can you hear us all right? Yeah, all good. Thanks, bud. Perfect. Uh, well, yeah, let's uh, carry on and we'll start with George. Hi, Sam. Congratulations on the win. I mean, you've, you've played everywhere all over the world, haven't you? But as an experience, how was that as a night? Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, yeah, the Oval is as good a place to play white ball cricket anywhere in the world, really. So um, it was no different tonight. Atmosphere is always great. And um, actually, you kind of felt like the the crowd were actually watching more of the cricket than normal. Um, normally, it's a bit more of a booze up. So um, it was great. Uh, I thought the quality of cricket was brilliant on a pretty slow pitch. Um, so, yeah, I, I think all in all, it was a, a really good day at the office. Did you get a chance to watch last night? Because obviously that was, you know, the first night, you know, really, really successful. And, and tonight I followed the of another close game. Yeah, absolutely. I, I watched the whole game last night. Um, so just to see, or well, just to see the format, see how it flowed. And, um, yeah, like I said, kind of the, the different tactical options you can do as a captain bowling 10 in a row. Um, so yeah, it was, it was great to see obviously the women's team get off to a flying start as well. So it's been a good, good start to the Oval Invincibles campaign. Great. Thanks George. Uh, who would like to go next? Dean, go for it. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, hi, Sam. Um, just a word on, on the pitch, actually. I, I thought it was interesting that a couple of people have said, yeah, it was a bit on the slow side. Obviously, a used pitch from yesterday, a uh, bit of sun on it today. In an ideal world, would you rather see a, <laughs> an even flatter, faster one that really um, suited the, the boundary options that every team has got? Uh, Dean, as a batsman, absolutely. Uh, you, you want good wickets, but... I think again, it, it was a it was a fair cricket wicket. Um, if you bowled well, especially the spin, we saw um, obviously Sun on Orion turning it both ways. Uh, Nathan Souter bowled beautifully, and obviously Will Jacks got in the game as well. So um, yeah, it was probably a little bit on the slow side, like you said. The weather probably hasn't helped over the last couple of days. Really has baked it. Um, and it, it to be fair, it can play like that sometimes at the Oval. Um, Sorry, I've played on pretty used pitches over the last couple of years as well. So we were very much aware that that could be the case. And again, I think this format, not only with the bat, but tactically and everything like that, it, it really forces you to think on your feet and, and be adaptable, um, uh, both conditions wise, but like I said, tactics as well. So I thought we did that pretty well today. And all that being said, um, do you think that you might have a look at your your batting order again. Obviously, you you went with Sam Curran up, up top um, with Jace. Um, you you seem to have, I don't know, maybe five or six top three batsmen. So I know not everyone can can bat there, but, but obviously someone like a Laurie Evans coming in at seven and Colin Ingram. You know, do you think you might change it around after this? Um, yeah, look, we it was quite funny actually. Um, we, we sent, obviously, a left-hander out because we knew that they'd probably go with the left-arm spinner. And uh, Jason Roy takes the first first ball and we're like, what's going on? <laughs> like, that was, that was not the point, boys. Um, so that was quite funny. We had a chuckle. But, um, look, Sammy's an absolute superstar. He, he's done it in the IPO. He's done it for England regularly. And we've only, obviously, got him for two games. So we, we want to maximise his capabilities. Um, so it was an experiment that obviously didn't work out to the extent that we wanted, but he still got one away and, and it kind of, we're very lucky. We have, like you said, we have got an amazing depth in batting. Um, TC coming in at eight and actually playing a match winning knock and getting us up to a, to a really good score on that pitch. So um, yeah, a little bit like T20, but T10 as well, that, you want your batting line up to keep coming at people. And especially with um, a short boundary, they had two leg spinners and a left arm spinner. We wanted to try and keep left hand, right, right hand combinations as much as possible. That was simply the thinking. Um, and look, we lost a couple of, couple too many wickets in the power play and uh, we had to kind of rebuild. So um, I think that's the, taking the positive out of that is that we haven't batted anywhere near to our capability and we still got to a match winning score. Yeah, cheers, mate. No worries, pal. Hey, uh, up next is Will. Hi, Sam. Um, can I just ask about you? 
Uh, you've obviously had a bit of a, an ordeal over the last month, uh, spending some time in isolation, even more time in isolation, and to 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 then go and you know play a match winning not like that and and captain the, the team in the first men's hundred game. How how pleasing is that? Yeah, hugely pleasing, mate. Um, look, it's yeah, it's been a pretty deflating month, if I'm honest. Uh, obviously, getting COVID and uh, being pretty ill, and then obviously missing more cricket because of the protocols um, that are in place. So, yeah, it was just nice to be back out there and playing cricket. Um, I think I've kind of sat in front of you guys, all of all of you here, enough and being frustrated a lot of the time of kind of how little cricket I play. Um, so, yeah, for me, it's just, I'm just happy to be playing. Um, that's all I want to do. And, um, yeah, it was as enjoyable as any cricket that I've played in the, in the past, uh, just to be out there in, a, in front of a packed house at the Oval, it doesn't get much better than that. Lovely. Thanks, Will. Uh, any more, three more? No, that boring, lads. <laughs> well, we'll, uh, we'll call it there. Thanks for your time, Sam. Cheers, guys. Lovely. Thanks, all. Um,